I'm June Pagan, and you're in the Occupy Your Palette cookbook test kitchen. I decided to visit Mrs. Kranz today, Judith Kranz, and I'm planning to make some scones, her favorite apricot buttermilk scones, that are a lower fat version of the cream scone. I'm starting with two cups of an unbleached flour. To that, I'm going to add a cup of quarter cup of a fine sugar. I'm going to also add a tablespoon of baking powder. It's quite a lot of baking powder, but that's what you need. One teaspoon of baking soda. And that's it for the dry ingredients. So I'm going to mix that up just for a few seconds here. Then I'm going to add it to a food processor. I like to make my scone dough in a food processor. You don't have to use a food processor. You could do it by hand with a pastry knife or you can do it also in a blender. I'm not in a blender, in a KitchenAid mixer. Okay, now I'm going to start to pulse the flour, mix it up well. And then I'm going to add buttermilk. Okay, so I have a little bit of buttermilk on the side there. I'm just going to add a small amount of buttermilk because so I had a full cup. Now I'm also going to add to the buttermilk right now a tablespoon, close to a tablespoon of va vanilla. The reason I'm adding the vanilla to the buttermilk instead of directly to the dough is that I have the opportunity to blend the vanilla into the buttermilk. That is important. So we're going to start pulsing and I'm going to add the buttermilk vanilla mixture slowly until the dough comes away from the side of the food processor. You'll see it's starting to come away from the side. And I haven't even used all the buttermilk yet. So at this point, what I'm going to do is add just a touch more flour. To the mixture. Use a little bit of a semolina flour here. And there you go. And the, the mixture, at this point, I'm going to add the apricots. These are diced apricots, one cup of diced dried apricots that were soaked in water. You could also soak them in orange juice. And this is the basic food for this particular batch. There we go. So that's mixed in fairly well. Okay. Now I'm planning to roll the biscuits or the scones. Scones are really like a biscuit. I guess we call them biscuits here. And in England, they call them scones, or Scotland. Okay, I'm going to transfer the mixture to a lightly floured surface. It could be a marble surface, wood. As you can see, the mixture is a little wet. You can tell that it's a little wet. So I'm going to dust it with a little more flour. I don't want to add too much flour because the flour will create a heavy result. We want the scone to be light, so I just want to um, coat it lightly with a good quality unbleached flour. Then I'm going to take a rolling pin and I'm going to roll the scone mixture to about an inch. I like them to be rather tall. Small and tall. <laughs> now I have a, a little biscuit cutter here. I'm going to use this. Place them onto a paper lined, parchment lined pan. Now I have my scones lined up on a pan on parchment paper and I did have leftover buttermilk with vanilla so what I decided to do was use it as a little bit of a wash. 
the buttermilk should brown up. The sugars in the, in the buttermilk should brown up a little. And so I'm going to lightly coat the top as I would do with egg, but I'm saving an egg by using the leftover buttermilk. This batch didn't call for all the buttermilk. And then to create a different variety of flavor, a different option, I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon sugar to half the batch. So that's just a light sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. There is no cinnamon in the scone, but I think a little light touch of cinnamon on top will create a different uh, flavor nuance and make the batch a little more interesting. I'm placing the scones into a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, the scones are ready. See, they're nicely browned on top. If you look on the bottom, you'll see that they're nicely browned. They're very light and ready to go. I'm serving the scones with a raspberry jam from the farmer's market, a beautiful local jam. I'll place several on the plate. There you go. I do a fourth serving right there. Enough for two people. Thank you for joining me. And remember, eating well is a right, not a privilege. Thank you.